the government, in collaboration with UNDP and UN Capital Development Fund, has developed the SDG Investor Map, a market intelligence product to help private investors, especially funds, financiers, and corporations, identify investment opportunities and business models that advance the SDGs. Second, one of our local banks, the CRDB Bank, issued the country's first green bond worth $300 million, mainly for climate financing for SDG 13 and 15, targeting environmentally friendly projects to mitigate the effects of climate change in sectors such as infrastructure, renewable energy, manufacturing, construction, and water supply. Third, we have facilitated a number of local government authorities to establish special purpose vehicles as business investment arms of the councils. And these entities have been registered and operate as private companies and can enter into business partnerships with public entities and earn revenues from its ventures and pay dividends to the councils and thereby widen the local government's authorities' revenue base that could finance SDGs implementation. And finally, as part of the public-private sector collaboration in accelerating economic recovery and raising people's income, the central bank has initiated a credit facility to commercial banks for on lending to farmers at an interest rate of not more than 9% and payoff from this collaborative arrangement is quite significant, the growth rate of private sector credit on agriculture rebounded from a contraction of 7.3% in the year ending July 2021 to 46.4% in the corresponding period in 2023. 